so hello everyone welcome to this new session so in this session we are going to solve only one problem okay which is a very important problem and multiple times repeated question so you can mark it as an important problem okay so now in this uh, problem we are going to solve one problem that which is related to force acting on a moving charge okay so here the question is a point charge q is equal to 18 nano coulomb okay nano means 10 to the power minus 9 it has a velocity of v is equal to 5 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second okay and in the direction of this they have given the direction that is 0.6 ax vector plus 0.75 ay vector plus 0.3 AZ vector. This is the direction, okay. And after that, this is the direction of this velocity, okay. And after that, we need to calculate the magnitude of force exerted on the ch charge by the field. And these are the three sub questions. That is, first thing they have given B is equal to minus three AX plus four AY plus six AZ milli Tesla. T and it indicates Tesla and M is milli. That's it. Ten to the power minus three. And electric field they have given it as electric field that is. Minus 3 AX plus 4 AY plus 6 AZ kilo volt per meter. And the third case is B and E that is a magnetic field intensity and electric field intensity are acting together. Magnetic field and electric field are acting together. Okay. So now let's see. First sub question let's uh, put the formula. So the given data is they have given the charge as well as they have given the value of uh, this uh, velocity. Okay. And also uh, velocity and the direction they have given it okay and also they have given this uh, value of magnetic field so therefore there is one relation that is f is equal to q into v cross b right we have seen during force on a moving charge this is there is one relation so now using this relation we are going to solve this first sub question okay so here in this data given is q is equal to 18 into 10 to the power minus 9 right 18 nano coulomb so V cross B means again we need to be taking the cross product so determinant that is first in the first row AX AY AZ in the second row we need to be writing the coefficients of uh, the direction of velocity this which in which in the question they have mentioned that is 0 0.6, 0 0.75 and 0 0.3 0 0.6, 0 0.75, 0 0.3 and the coefficients of this magnetic field minus 3 4, 6. So now we need to be solving this V cross V. Okay. So they have solved the determinant that is 0.75 into 6. Okay. That is equal to 4.5 minus 0 0.3 into 4. That is equal to 1.2. Okay. You can check it later. Into AX vector minus these two, uh, these two uh, lines are eliminated. 0.6 into 3. That is 3.6. 0.3 into minus 3 so here minus we have already so plus it will be plus 0.3 into 3 is 0 0.9 a y vector plus 0.6 into 4 is 2.4 again 0.75 into minus 3 so here we have minus into minus so it is plus 0.75 into minus 3 is 2.25 a z vector so our v cross b if we solve this 4.5 minus 1.3 is 1.3 ax minus 3.6 plus 0 0.9 is 4.5 ay plus 2.4 and 2.25 is 4.65 az okay that is milli tesla since here in the magnetic field they have given milli tesla right so here we need to be writing v cross b is equal to the answer into milli tesla that is 10 to the power minus 3 tesla okay so this is our v cross b so now f is equal to q into v cross b right so f is equal to q is 18 into 10 to the power minus 9 into 10 to the power minus 3 i am writing it first since it is milli tesla after that I will be writing this equation that is 3.3 AX minus 4.5 AY plus 4.65 AZ. So F is equal to 18 into 10 to the power minus 9 into 10 to the power minus 3. Okay. And also we need to be multiplying the direction here in this case that is we they have given right in place of magnitude as well as direction so both we need to be multiplying 
so the magnitude the magnitude they have given it as 5 into 10 to the power 6 so multiply that also and again 18 into 5 is 90 so write 90 into 10 to the power minus 9 into minus 3 So this is 5 into 10 to the power plus 6 okay 5 into 10 to the power 6 they have given right in the question yeah so 10 to the power minus 9 into minus 3 is 10 to the power minus 12 plus 6 is 10 to the power minus 6 okay minus 12 plus 6 is minus 6 into again 3.3 ax plus 4.65 is it so now f is equal to so multiply 90 into 3.3 that is equal to 2 97 ax approximately minus 90 into 4.5 approximately 405 ay here we have minus so it would be minus 405 plus 90 into 4.65 again it's approximately 418.5 az okay this is the answer of force and here we have 10 to the power minus 6 so that is micro newton okay 10 to the power minus 6 is micro right so this is the answer of the force which is in the sub first sub question similarly for second sub question so the given data here is they have given e okay so we have a direct relation for force that is a so when it is given e f is equal to q times e okay since f is equal to it is e times e right but so we know that e is equal to q that say one and the same charge so f is equal to q times e so direct relation so q they have given it as 18 into 10 to the power minus 9 and e they have given as 3 to the power 3 ax minus 3 ax plus 4 ay plus 6 is it kilo volt so it's kilo means 10 to the power 3 so write that first into e that is minus 3 ax plus 4 ay plus 6 az okay so that is f is equal to 18 into 10 to the power minus 9 plus 3 again it is 10 to the power minus 6 minus 3 ax plus 4 ay plus 6 az okay so now multiply 18 that is 18 into minus 3 is 1 minus 54 ax 18 into 4 plus 72 ay 18 into 6 is plus 108 az so this is the answer mine 10 to the power minus 6 that is again micro newton okay so these are the answers for uh, a and b respectively so please you can uh, refer it down so we have one more sub question so now let's solve that so in this next question they have given it as b and e acting together okay so if they are acting together that means that in this formula we need to be considered having the values of both uh, e and as well, e as well as b right so that's why what we need to be doing is the total uh, lorentz force which we have gained right in this case that we need to apply so the total Lorentz force, the formula which we have got is F is equal to QE plus Q into V cross B, right? This is the total Lorentz force which I have obtained. So that is F is equal to Q is common. Take it outside. E plus V cross B, okay? So now let's apply that. So F is equal to Q is 18 into 10 to the power minus 9. Okay. The value of E they have given in the sub question, right? Minus 3ax plus 4ay plus 6az into 10 to the power 3. Kilo volt, right? So 10 to the power 3 plus V cross V which we have obtained, right? Here. That only we are going to write it. That is 3.3 ax minus 4.5 ay plus 4.65 az into 10 to the power minus 3 okay since they have given milli tesla so that's for 10 to the power minus 3 so f is equal to 18 into 10 to the power minus 9 okay so now multiply this 10 to the power uh, 3 So multiply this 10 to the power 3 to this whole term that is minus 3000 ax plus 
4000ay plus 6000az again here multiply 10 to the power minus 3 that is plus 0.0033ax right minus 0.0045ay plus 0.00465az right so now again here this and this we can add so our answer is 18 into 10 power minus 9 into minus 3000 plus 0 0.0033 that is approximately we will be getting the 2999.9 ax okay plus 4000 into minus 0, 0 0.0045 the answer we are getting is approximately 3999.55 Okay, ay plus 6000 and 0 0.00465 that is 6000.00465 az okay so we can round it off that is f is equal to eighteen into ten to the power minus nine into ten to the power 3 I am taking common because here what I am doing is minus 2.99 here this is a large number right so I have taken 10 to the power 3 common from this term so 2.99 ax plus 3.99 ay plus here I am rounding it off to 6 is it okay so now f is equal to 18 into 10 to the power minus 9 plus 3 is 10 to the power minus 6 okay minus 2.99 ax 3.99ay plus 6 says it. So now f is equal to so 18 into minus 2.99 that is equal to approximately 53.8ax plus 18 into 3.99 or 18 into 4 we can directly write it as 71.8ay and 18 into 6 is 108ay. So this is the answer of force obtained. 10 to the power minus 6 so micro newton okay so this is the third sub question here we have solved it so this was one important problem okay you can refer this problem so yeah pause the video and refer it so this was one simple problem so that's all for this session so in the next session we are going to discuss with the one important concept related to magnetic boundary conditions okay so stay tuned for that also so that's all for this session. Please like, share, subscribe, comment down your opinions. Also refer our previous videos in order to understand brief about the concept. Also you can refer our playlist where we have solved all the model paper solutions for all the subjects, electromagnetic theory, control system, principles of communication, microcontrollers, everything. Refer those videos as well. Uh, refer, uh, share it to your friends. Like, share, subscribe guys. Thank you.